What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some Trench gameplay and today we're going to be talking about a possible ability rework for Trench himself. So let's head over and let's talk about it. So I am on the Rogue Company wiki page and we are going to be talking about Trench himself's ability and a potential idea for a new ability. So his current ability is Barbed Wire Grenade. He creates a field of barbed wire that damages and slows enemies. So for those of you that were not around back in the day, Trench originally was only able to throw one barbed wire spool at a time. And the way that it worked is it was a much larger, it was like two or three times bigger than just one of the current spools of barbed wire that you throw out now. And it was segmented so whenever you would go in to destroy it you would only destroy a piece of it at a time and you would kind of have to meticulously work your way through destroying all of it unless you had emps glitch hack things like that that could like basically permanently you know get rid of it until that cooldown happens there's been a lot of issues with the barbed wire grenade in rogue company for a very long time now at this point i mean you constantly have people that are putting videos up or it's happened to you when you've played i'm sure where you've thrown the the ability out and it hits a wall or it hits something and then it deploys and then it just disappears it's no longer there or it's there you can't see it the enemy can't see it but the enemy is being affected by it it sucks to play around. I don't understand why this is happening. So let's just look at his like his core identity as a rogue. So let's come up with some type of an ability that makes him a little bit more uh, heavily defender based, but also allows him more opportunities whenever using his ability. How do you shut lanes down the same way that you currently shut lanes down with trench with something similar to the barbed wire? but that's a little bit more reliable than the barbed wire, right? Because the barbed wire, that is its biggest downfall, is it's destroying itself. Nobody wants to play with a rogue when they have an inconsistent ability, right? And nobody wants to deal with the headache of like, I'm going to throw this barbed wire and I'm going to hope to God that this barbed wire is able to at least slow this push down slightly while my team responds to it. And then you throw it in a doorway and then it explodes and it's there and then it just disappears into the ether, never to be seen again. So he needs something that will allow him to slow a push down. He needs something that will allow him to be the most defender defender that he could possibly be. And to me, coming up with something that would make that all reality is making a deployable. That's his ability that you throw on walls. And whenever it attaches to the walls, it forms like a fence or a gate. My idea is to have it a deployable that actually sticks to one solid surface, one solid wall. And whenever you throw this thing out, then it projects these beams to the next solid surface and it stops at that next solid surface. So whenever someone pushes this thing, unless they can actually see on what wall this is deployed on, then they're going to have a hard time trying to destroy it. They can run through it, but I wouldn't do like damage over time or anything like that. I would do like an electric stun lock for like a half a second or something. And, and of course it would notify the trench player that deployed it. Like, Hey, somebody's running through this. You know, you have just so you know, this is happening and having something like this and having two of those would allow you on a lot of the maps to set up these areas to where you can kind of throw this gadget on this wall and it can shut down a very large portion of the map. You know, you could do this on certain maps where you could throw it in the middle of the map if you position it correctly and it would be able to cut through the entire map. Now that would be overpowered to some people and I don't think it would be absolutely overpowered because I think the idea would be, okay, they have a trench and the ability is going to work and we know that they're going to use it as some type of a lane denial tool, right? And we know that we've got to get to where this thing was deployed to the wall to be able to progress into a specific part of the map so that we can plant the bomb or do whatever objective that we're trying to do, whatever game mode that we're playing, right? And, and yes, it would be infuriating whenever you're playing against a character like this. But the thing is, is like Trench is supposed to be the defender defender. So I think that if you introduce something like this to where you could effectively get into a, you know, a bomb plant location and you could start throwing these things out to shut certain doorways down, 
uh, if you have a glitch, of course, the, that, the glitch would absolutely shut this down in a heartbeat. If you have EMP grenades, this would be something that would absolutely shut this down. You would have certain things to counterplay this. It would be like one or two shots to destroy it. You just have to find the point of origin to be able to destroy it, right? Like I said, don't necessarily cause it to do damage or anything like that. Don't run through it and it blow up or anything. Have it be something that whenever you walk into it, it like electrocutes you and it kind of stun locks you for a couple of seconds. And then once that's over, then you can progress forward. The biggest thing is it's going to notify the trench where, you know, someone just went through his barbed wire at. And then if you're in the middle of a gunfight, like it's going to do the same thing effectively as falling or jumping into the barbed wire where you can't really move all that well. You're just kind of stuck in it. You're slow walking. It's it would it would basically act the same way. It would mechanically work the same way. I think doing something like this would very, very much make him the most defender defender rogue that we have in rogue company. And you could do a lot of cool stuff with this. You could do a lot of crazy stuff with this. And I don't think that there would be any places in the game or any areas in any of the maps that would just absolutely, you know, break everything. There would be places in the maps where you could throw something down and it would cover like a good two thirds of the map so that anybody that's trying to progress past this certain point either has to hit that or they have to maneuver around to destroy where it was deployed at. But I think that that would offer some nice and interesting counterplays. Uh, I think that that would make Trench a fantastic rogue. I think that that would put him up for success in a lot of different ways. And there's not a lot of negatives that I see for this, you know, and you could rework Sigrid's passive ability slightly to where it's like, okay, she can, you know, move faster while she's crouched. The tear gas doesn't affect her. The slows doesn't affect her. And then maybe she doesn't get stun locked whenever she walks through those lasers, right? And that would be your hard counter to it. And then of course you'd have glitch, you'd have EMPs. You could be able to shoot it to destroy it. I think that it would make things 10,000 times better. It would make some of for it would make for some very interesting plays and it would require like people that have never played trench or that are learning trench to look for those most optimal positions to throw these things. Do I want to throw this right in this doorway so that they can shoot it whenever they run up? Or do I want to shoot it on the other side of the doorway that you're on and have it extend out far enough to cut down not only one access routes, but two access routes in the process. But it's going to cause the enemy to kind of push up and they can get into this position slightly so that they can destroy it. I think that there's a lot that you could do with something like this, but that's where I'm at with it. I think Trench's ability needs a complete rework and a rehaul, and I think that this would be the best way to do it in my opinion. But be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on reworking Trench's ability into something that is more of like these electric lines, electric fences, electric gates, whatever you want to call them, that can be deployed and stick on walls, stick on surfaces, and shut pushes down and cause no damage but like a stun locked effect. What do you think about that? Do you think that that would make him more defender heavy? Do you think that that would make him more aggressive and make him push people more? How do you feel about something like this? Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you think of something else that would be a great ability for Trench, do you think that getting rid of the barbed wire and, and, and having this, you know, insert whatever it is here, would be a better option for a character like this? Be sure to let me know because I'm very interested to see what everybody thinks about, you know, different types of abilities for Trench himself. Also, be sure to check that description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed to the channel, then consider hitting that join button to become one of the 256 crew members. Lastly, on Thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m. Central Time, Sundays from 10 a.m. until we get tired, I will be streaming here on YouTube. So if you are interested and available, please feel free to stop by and say hello there. Thanks for watching, guys.